Hello everyone. Welcome to MS Apti webcast. In this video, we're going to see the steps on how to enable one-time passcode based authentication for guest user in Azure Active Directory. The email one-time passcode feature is a way to authenticate B2B collaboration users when they can't be authenticated through other means such as Azure Active Directory, Microsoft account or social identity providers. When a B2B guest user tries to redeem your invitation or sign in to your shared resources, they can request a temporary passcode which is sent to their email address. Then they enter this passcode to continue signing process. Let's understand the scenario which we are going to use in this video. Guest user mandir.rakulia at gmail.com is invited to our Azure Active Directory tenant which does not have Google Federation setup. Mandir Rakulia does not have a Microsoft account. So he will receive a one-time passcode for authentication. So let's enable email one-time passcode feature in our Azure Active Directory tenant using Azure Active Directory Admin Center. Let's sign in to the Azure Active Directory portal using an account with global administrator permissions. You can access Azure Active Directory portal using the URL https colon double slash aad.portal.azure.com. On dashboard, click on Azure Active Directory. We are using the user account with global administrator role for this video and that we can verify here. First, under manage, click on external identities. Click on all identity providers. Here we have configured identity providers, Azure Active Directory, Microsoft account and email one time passcode. I'm going to click on email one time passcode to open the configuration page. Under email one time passcode for guest, select enable email one time passcode for guest effective now option. But here we have other options as well like first one is there automatically enable email one time passcode for guest starting July 2022. Then we have enable email one time passcode for guest effective now which we are going to select and to disable it you need to select this third radio button. But right now we want to enable this feature and that's why I'm going to select the second radio button enable email one time passcode for guest effective now. Click on save to save the changes. Okay we got the confirmation message successfully updated email one time passcode configuration. Keep in mind that if the email one time passcode feature has been enabled in your tenant and you turn it off, any guest users who have redeemed a one time passcode will not be able to sign in. You can reset their redemption status so they can sign in again using another authentication method. With one time passcode authentication, the guest user can redeem your invitation by clicking a direct link or by using the invitation email. So let's add a new guest user to the directory right now to see it in action. Click on Azure Active Directory. Under Manage, click on Users. To invite a new guest user, click on New Guest User Plus icon. Now add the guest user's information under Identity section. Here I have added user's display name, user's email address, first name, last name and personal message. Let's uh, scroll to downwards. I'm not going to select any group or user role at this moment. I'm going to select the user's location which is going to be India in our case. And if you want, you can define the user's job information as well as manager information which I'm going to skip. Now click on invite button to automatically send the invitation to the guest user on provided email address. So let's click on invite button. Let's wait for the confirmation message. 
we can see the confirmation message that we have successfully invited the user name Amman Pashar. Let me close it. Under users, we can see the guest user name Amman Pashar. Confirm the user type guest and creation type is invitation. Now sign in as the guest user to see the invitation. For that, open new in private to window. Let me click on these three dots and select new in private to window. Let's sign in to our guest user's email account, which is on Gmail. So I'm going to click on Google. Let's click on Gmail. Okay, we can see the Microsoft invitation email, Microsoft invitation. Amaceptive webcast invited you to access applications within the organization. Let's click on that mail. Here we can see the custom message which we have sent with the invitation. To accept this invitation, I'm going to click on accept invitation. You can see sign in. We will send a code to your email address to sign you in. Let's click on send code link to send codes on given email address. Okay, we just need to enter the code here. So the passcode is sent to the user's email address. Now retrieves the passcode from the email. Go back to the Gmail page. Let's go back and here we have a new email from MSFT webcast for account verification code. Here we can see the account verification code which I'm going to copy. Okay, let's go back to the tab where we need to enter the code. Now let's enter the code here. Paste as a plain text. Okay, and click on assign in. Now the guest user is now authenticated and they will reach to my app's web page. But first we need to review permissions. This is about the MSFT webcast. Here we can see one uh, warning or we can see information that this resource is not shared by Microsoft. The organization MSFT webcast would like to collect. The first is signing. So we'll be able to sign to their apps and resources and they can read your name, email address and photo. We can see your basic profile information. You would like to accept it or simply click on cancel. I'm going to click on accept. Hang tight while we give access to Amasapti webcast. So now the guest user is authenticated and they will reach to my apps web page. And if you have published any application in your Azure Active Directory, the user will see those applications here. But since we haven't published any application and that's why the user is able to see there are no apps to show message here. Remember, one-time passcodes are valid for 30 minutes. After 30 minutes, that specific one-time passcode is no longer valid and the user must request a new one. The existing user sessions will expire after 24 hours. After that time, the guest user receives a new passcode when they access their resources. So that concludes the video on how to enable one-time passcode based authentication for guest user in Azure Active Directory using Azure Active Directory Admin Center. Thank you all for watching this video. Have a nice day.